Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Preparing ourselves to celebrate Mass today, we pause to reflect on our own unworthiness, our sinfulness, as we beg God's kindness and mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord in your unceasing mercy, and since without you, mortal humanity is sure to fail, may we be kept by your constant helps from all harm, and directed to all that brings salvation, through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wronged. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they are crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will save the power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, and to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees 
have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor, banquets, and seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in the marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master, for you, you have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. Whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a uh, wonderful telling scene in the Broadway um, musical several years ago, Godspell. During the uh, late 60s, early 70s, I must have seen that particular play. It was in the... Uh, the uh, It was in Philly, uh, so I saw it probably about six times when it was there with the friends of mine. Anyway, there's a scene uh, when, they're, when the, uh, they're kind of retelling today's gospel, uh, and um, it was the bottom, the bottom line of the gospel today, you know, whoever humbles himself. And so, uh, it, it, on, on the stage, uh, when they're telling this, the uh, two people are telling it, or Jesus is telling it, you know, one of the characters is kind of like a giant puppet, and he's bent very low, and he's talking about whoever humbles himself, and then Jesus kind of pretends to pull the strings, will be exalted. Visually, you know, it brought home uh, if you will, the point. And visually, what we see, well, that sense, uh, helps us sometimes in understanding uh, some truth, some depths. So when I was uh, 12 years old, sitting with my grandma, Grandma Mangeloni, on the steps of a tree-lined street, outside of her home in Philadelphia, and she's sitting with her black dress on, uh, and uh, she has a bowl in front of her, and I think she's snapping peas or something. And I'm, I'm, I'm like just one step below her, kind of like this with my elbows on my knees and my shorts. And there's a couple that walks by, very uh, dapper, very dressed very nicely. And my grandmother says to me in Italian, guande mossa. Which means, uh, which means, um, what a show, you know. Look at those two. So I say, shh, girl, yeah. they'll hear you. Uh, she goes, uh, Americans, uh, meaning they're Americans. You know, what do they know? You know. Americans, what a show. I guess sometimes we do things for show. You have to kind of admit it. Uh, it's not who we are, it's not the stuff of who we are, but sometimes I guess we fall into that trap. 
I was thinking uh, about, when I spoke yesterday about photo, uh, I was speaking, uh, thinking about image, the image that, that we portray sometimes. You know, we have a, some of us have a social media imprint, a social media image. Um, uh, research kind of tells us that um, social media can make us kind of lazy regarding certain things, meaning instead of really reaching out and being with someone, you know, we just deal with it on social media with a, a tweet, an email, or even FaceTime. Um, and so the, 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 the question raised in terms of the gospel <clears throat> is one of pretense. It is one of show. Uh, it is one of going to, a deep, going to deeper truths of who you are. Uh, on the surface, the scribes and the Pharisees appear to be perfect, uh, but Jesus knows their heart. Jesus knows their heart. And I guess that's the point. He knows our heart as well. And no matter what image we have out there on social media, no matter how we portray ourselves, no matter how, how sometimes we do something for show, or maybe thinking someone's watching, Jesus knows our heart. And so in the Lenten season that we traverse, uh, we need to maybe consider uh, a couple things. Maybe consider our social media image. Uh, and maybe we need to reflect, are we, are we presenting a false self sometimes to other people? Um, do, we find, uh, do we find ways uh, to, in this Lenten season, do we find ways to deepen who we are as uh, one made in the image and likeness of God, who we are before God and before others? Do we take the time to kind of reflect on that? Um, I don't know. Would Jesus follow you on social media? Kind of following up on that, what would Jesus do? Would Jesus follow you? on social media, would he think that you're the real thing? Um, again, uh, do my actions, I guess, and this is it, uh, this is maybe the bottom line. Guan de Mos, what a show. Do my actions match my words? Please say it. Having heard the word of God, we now turn to Almighty God and humbly ask God to hear our petitions that all members of the church may be strengthened by the Holy Spirit, growing in virtues of justice, humility, and charity. We pray to the Lord. That all political leaders may be guided by the light of Christ in their service to those they lead, we pray to the Lord. For those who are suffering with brokenness or hurt, that they may be comforted and consoled in the arms of the Lord and in our embraces, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and suffering, we especially remember those dealing with cancer, all forms of cancer, and the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. That our parish family may be conformed ever more closely to Jesus during this Lenten season and be sanctified in our prayer, our fasting and almsgiving. We pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, 
We especially remember this morning George Lafert for the repose of his soul and the comfort of his family. We pray to the Lord. And for those intentions that we hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, we are your humble servants. We ask that you hear and answer our prayers according to your divine will and through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work with human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Your friends, let us pray that these are gifts be acceptable, God. Our Almighty Father, be pleased to work your sanctification within us by means of these mysteries, O Lord, and by it may we be cleansed of earthly faults and led to the gifts of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift your hearts. Please know from the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self denial should give you thanks. It should humble our sinful pride. It should contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, of heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Almighty Father, we bless you through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand to stretch out to sinners, the way that leads to your peace. When we ourselves have turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, Celebrating that reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit. That they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined the table, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, said the blessed broke of bread gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
In a similar way, on the same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in the saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church on earth a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace. May he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, Francis our Bishop, bishops, clergy, religious, and all of God's people. And just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, St. Michael, and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in that new heaven and new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord through him and with him and in him of God and Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command informed by divine teaching we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. That by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, your friends, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, look down on our sins, but on the faith of your people, your church, and graciously grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord Jesus be with all of you. And with your spirit. On your stay, we told us Pepata Jesus, our brother and our Lord, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, and after we have called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, Lord,
and let us pray. Graciously hear the cries of your faithful, O Lord, and relieve the weariness of their souls, that having received your forgiveness and your sacred gift, they may ever rejoice in your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And as to then that we go in peace. Oh, 